Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to yet another exciting Camtasia whiteboard animation tutorial. Yet, now, I say Camtasia whiteboard animation tutorial, but for the life of me though, I can't see why anybody who is using a different video editing software wouldn't be able to use the same materials that I'm going to give you and the same technique to get the same results, so long as their video editor allows, obviously, for animation. Okay, so for those of you who haven't got video editing software that allows animation, by the way, I will put a link in the description below for HitFilm 3 Express. Guys, this is a non-linear video editor that is capable of a phenomenal amount of really cool things, but it is 100% free. It is sort of freemium, I guess you could say, because you can buy add-on packages. But the basic software allows you to do basic video editing with basic masking and basic uh, green screening and stuff like that, right? So that is really, really a good thing to go check out. The only thing I will say, though, is that your computer does need to have a little bit of oomph to it, okay? So if you have an old PC, eh, you know, try it out, see if it'll work, okay? If you have a Mac, I don't believe you will have any problems whatsoever running HitFilm 3 Express, but I'm not exactly sure because I'm not a Mac guy. Okay, guys, the next thing I need you to do is look in the description below the video on YouTube. And if you're watching this video anywhere else other than YouTube, you might have to come to YouTube, look for this video again, and then go and look in the description below the video for the stuff I'm going to give you. Okay, you will see there's a Dropbox link. Okay, it says basically Dropbox and then there'll be a link. Okay, click that. You're going to download a file. In that file is going to be two clips of a hand on green screen. You're going to find a white gradient with transparent background. You're also going to find a resource list. In that resource list, you're going to find the link to where I got this hand from. Okay, so that you know where the stuff comes from that we're using. So you can always point to the licenses to prove that you have the right to use these things, okay? On Morg file, you can actually go to that link, read the licensing right there, and you'll see that you're cool to use that. Um, if we go and look at the link where you go to Icon Finder, you'll see the ones I'm recommending for you. There are hand-drawn social media icons that are free to use for commercial use and private use, uh, no attribution required, okay? So you can go and use that in commercial work, no problem, okay? So those are the things you're going to find in the file now. Okay, so now go get all your stuff, import the clips. I mean, uh, what you want to do here in your clipping, you should have the two hands, uh, you should have uh, your some social media icons that you want to use, uh, you should have the white gradient with transparent background. Bring that in uh, to Camtasia as well. And then once you have all of this in here, then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to get started with the um, actual uh, tutorial here, okay? So first up, what we're going to do is the quick refresher of handwriting. Then we're going to get into the drawing. And uh, pretty much that's going to be it. 